All right, so I've been requested um, to do a couple of more suspension videos, and I've been waiting for quite a while. I gotta, hang on, I gotta get this out of the way. Um, but I've been waiting for quite a while, uh, just because I've been busy, and I've been out of town a whole lot. Um, but I decided to, I've got, I'm waiting on some stuff to dry, and I've some batteries to charge, so. I figured I'd take the time to go ahead and do a couple of these. Uh, I'm going to do uh, ladder bar suspension and then we're going to work on uh, torque arm suspension right after this. Uh, torque arm being probably my least favorite of all of them. Uh, ladder bar is probably the easiest of all the suspension setups. Let's just call this the housing end. Okay, the tire would sit here, you know, but we're not going to get into the tire. This, you know, the center section will be there, put a flange on the front of it, you know, whatever. Anyway, this is going to be where the pickup points are on the car. Now, you're very limited to what you can do with a ladder bar setup, um, depending on who put it in. Where they put your front bracket which is located on the chassis high or low can kind of depend on how far you can go either direction with the ladder bar and this is all the adjustment you really have uh, most ladder bars have a bar on the bottom and then they have a bar on the top that connects to this one and then this will have adjustment in it for pinion angle and that's really all that that does is pinion angle all of the adjustment as far as how much the car is going to separate, how much bite it's going to give it, how quick it's going to do it, all that stuff is determined about where this pickup point is in the car. So if they have it set too low, you may not be able to get the bar up far enough to work correctly with a radial tire. If they have it too high, you may not be able to get it down low enough to stop from putting too much pressure on a slick tire. But basically, this is what it boils down to. If you need more separation, you move the bar up in the car. And that's gonna give more leverage on the chassis. When the tire drives forward, it's gonna push up on the chassis um, and all that good jazz. If you need it to have less bite, you need to move it down in the car. That's more bite, more separation. And this is less bite and less separation. You're also at the mercy of whoever built your setup as to how long this lower bar is, how long this front connect, connection point is. Because the longer you make this, the longer it makes the instant center, the slower it will react. The shorter this bar is, the shorter the instant center, the quicker it's going to react. So if you have a radial tire car that maybe doesn't weigh a whole lot, you put a bunch of anti-squat in it and your bar length is like, let's say 28 inches. Generally these are built between 28 and 40 inches, um, but it's at like 28 inches. It's really gonna react very fast. So I generally suggest that people put a little bit higher spring rate back there to help slow that down a little bit or get a shock that's specifically valved for your situation so you can also slow that thing down. If you get too much anti-squat in the car and it comes off the spring, whenever you go into the gear change, it can chatter a little bit. So be very mindful of that. But this is basically a ladder bar setup. They're very simple, very easy to use. Um, you're just at the mercy of whoever put it together. If they built it around the slick, it may be hard to get to work with a radial tire. If they built it around a radial tire, it may be a little too harsh on a slick. Uh, but easy, either way, uh, this would be the housing end, center section, upper bar ties into the lower bar, ladder bar ties into the car. This upper bar adjustment does nothing but pinion angle. Pinion angle does nothing but keep the U-joints in the right spot. So don't go changing a bunch of that crap. If you change this bar angle, just remember you'll have to bring your pinion angle back down uh, to match to make the U-joint correct. But either way, this is basically it. Move it up for more bite, down for less bite, up for more separation, down for less separation, and you should be able to uh, help your car go down the racetrack. Either way, I'm Rob D. You guys have a good evening.